In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to make a tire slit. It's a very simple piece of training equipment, but it's also very, very useful. So let's jump straight into it. First of all, you need a tire. I would suggest getting something that's a little bit bigger than a standard car tire. This is something that comes out of a forklift or something of that nature. And it's just a little bit more sturdy and it holds up a little bit better than a small and flimsy car tire will. The next thing you will need is an eye bolt, a washer, a nut, and a carabiner can also be a very useful thing to have. I opted to make my own oversized uh, washer uh, by taking a piece of an old bracket and drilling a, an appropriate sized hole in the middle of it. So it's just a little bit more sturdy than the, um, the small washer you see in the top of the, the picture. The next thing you need to do is to drill some holes. Uh, the first hole is really just to drain any water out of the tire that might be there. And even if you don't have water in the tire to begin with, you're very likely to store it outside and you will get water in. So do, do drill a hole so you can drain it of water. And I found out that drilling the hole in the bottom of the tire really is the most, the, the easiest way to get water out. Then I'm drilling a hole basically in the middle of the, the tire here. And this is for attaching the, the bracket and the eye bolt. So there we go. I have the eye bolt. It's a little bit finicky to get it in and you want it to be quite tight so it's not flopping all over the place. So you're actually screwing it into the rubber. I'm using a, a screwdriver to help me. And in it goes. And then here comes the most difficult bit, and that's actually getting the getting the bracket and the nut onto the eye bolt. So it's like looking around a little bit, and then eventually you will get it to catch. You can see I'm working away at it. And then just taking the screwdriver and finishing it off. And this is what it should look like on the inside. So the bolt is screwed in securely. And then we're basically done. So I'm attaching the carabiner. And then down we go. This is my super advanced loading system. So I'm basically just sticking a piece of wood in there. And then I have a sandbag here. You could equally use a plate or whatever else you have lying around that has a bit of weight to it. And then just loop a rope in through the carabiner and begin dragging. And then away I go and I have my own little tire sled. So do give this project a go. It's quite, it's quite satisfying and it's really easy to do. And it's a quite a versatile piece of equipment. So it will do you well to have this one. Yeah, thank you for watching.